Donald Trump is the presumptive GOP nominee. Governors, you've both been to so many Republican conventions over the years. How do you see this one unfolding, do you think, Governor Kane? I think it'll be pretty dull. They are met lately, you know. They, Governor Whitman and I can both remember times when Republican <laughs> conventions were exciting. Yeah, things yeah. happened. Yeah, <laughs> things happened. They were unplanned and um, exciting to watch on television, exciting to be there. But now people's speeches are scripted, the time's all set, they only, they only put the cameras on for a certain period of time, and it's, uh, it's pretty dull. I mean, you know, you know what's going to happen um, before it happens, and, um, you know, frankly, if there's something else on television, I'll watch it. And your expectation is, Governor Whitman, that, uh, that Donald Trump will be coronated at this convention? I think, yes, it's, it's not going to be any debate over that. Where the debate will come and some of the issues that they have to decide prior to the actual convention itself. But I agree with Governor Kane. They, they've gotten to be, they're just big rewards for loyalty for the party people to get together from across the country and feel good about themselves, but they don't really serve a great purpose. What about the process of, of the platform? How, how do you expect that to go at this convention? Well, there'll be, as Governor Whitman implied, there'll be some fighting about that, I think, before the convention. Although, my experience is it doesn't matter. I mean, Nobody basically... Nobody pays much attention to it. No, <laughs> you, you, they fight like crazy over some plank in the platform. And if the candidate doesn't like it, it just ignores it. And, and so uh, the, the, the platform really is what the candidate says in the campaign and what the candidate does if that candidate is elected president. Um, but I can tell you, if you want to take the Democratic and Republican platforms over the last 10 conventions, you'll find very few things in there that will get adopted into law. The main fight or action will be ahead of time, and it will probably be around the, um, the platform. Uh, originally, and I don't know whether they're sticking to this or not, uh, the Speaker Ryan had said that the House was writing the platform, which is unusual in and of itself, but that they were going to put forward a, their own platform. Um, now it's going to be hard to gainsay the presidential nominee. It always is. If the presidential nominee wants something, he, they generally get it. Or as Governor Kane said, they walk away from the platform and they just ignore it. They've just, unfortunately, what's happened is platforms have grown over the years from small, short documents that were just statements of broad principles of the party to trying to define an appropriate and acceptable position on every issue you can think about. Do you think that Donald Trump can unify the Republican Party? Well, he's certainly starting to make the outreach um, every once in a while. You never know because every once in a while he, he starts to do the outreach and then all of a sudden he'll say something that sets everything back a bit. You know, he'll threaten. He'll say, yes, I want to work with um, the Speaker and I want to work with the, the uh, members of the House, but it's going to be bad for them if uh, they don't work with me. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see whether he can control it. Certainly that's what he wants to do. He knows that's what he has to do. Do you think that will happen, Governor Kane? And how important will that be for this convention? He's walking a tightrope because he wants to bring party members on board, and he'll bring most of them probably, but not all of them. But he wants to do that. On the other hand, if he's seen as kowtowing to the party, which his followers call the establishment, he's going to lose a lot of the enthusiasm from the people who got him here. And he's also got you know, a certain percentage of the Sanders supporters who have said publicly, if, if Sanders is not the nominee, Trump's my second choice. So you've got this populism out there, which he's riding. And he can't kowtow too much to the establishment, either in issues or personalities. So, so he's got to try to unify the party. On the other hand, he's still got to be out there as the spokesman for populism. Will Chris Christie help him in that effort? Will there be a role for Chris Christie at this convention? Donald Trump really prizes loyalty, and Chris Christie's been very loyal. And that's been reflected in the fact that he's chosen him to head the transition team. So if Chris Christie wants to speak, which I presume he does, he would want a prime time spot in the evening. I don't know that he'll be the no giving the nomination speech, but then again, you can't tell uh, what role he might play. But he certainly, if he wants a role, I'm sure he can have that role. How do you think this Republican primary process will go down in history, Governor Whitman? Well, it's probably one of the most uh, dynamic, shall we say, with the most going on of, in, in the widest choice. I mean, don't forget, we started with something like 17. I think it's also going to, though, be seen as one where the media had a, an enormously outsized effect. If you look at the earned media that Donald Trump got from the very beginning versus any of the other candidates, uh, it's just staggering. Isn't it wonderful that two out of the three candidates ignored the billionaire class? <laughs> 
I mean, all these, all these huge people that we've been told now have been controlling politics for so long in Washington, and none of them were even consulted. I mean, Trump and Saunders didn't ask any of them for money, not a single one of them. So I like that. <laughs> I think that's good. And Hillary's paying a price for her Goldman Sachs and associations and all of that. We thank you for your insights into how you think it's going to work. Certainly you've been there. We appreciate it. Governor Whitman and Governor Kane.